Ryan Seacrest with you. Sissini and Tanya. Got the back room. Everybody's come in for this conversation. How funny. Look at half the sales department's listening through the glass. <laughs> Matthew Hussey. Good stuff. Relationship God. Podcast God. By the way, whatever you're doing, he's in his, are you in your podcast room? Uh, no, I'm in my house actually at the moment. Huh. Well, it looks a heck of a lot nicer than our house over here. <laughs> like our studio. I mean, they're really pouring some bucks into the podcasters, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Uh, Love Life, Matthew Hussey, is the book that you got on your desk there. Is that the latest book? It is. Love Life, How to Raise Your Standards, Find Your Person, and Live Happily No Matter What. You know, there's no shortage of customers in your business, is there? Everyone wants to find love. I don't, it does, it, plenty of people don't want to date, but everyone wants to find love. Why don't we want to date? We don't want to date. Why is that? Because the dating culture right now sucks for so many people. And when an internal culture of anxiety and fear that we have about never finding anyone meets an external culture of people who are trying to take whatever they can get while giving as little as possible, it creates a recipe for us lowering our standards and accepting way less than we're worth. And so people are just so disappointed and have been burned so many times by trying to lower their standards so that they can even get in the game, but then finding that lowering their standards means that they end up being treated horribly mm-hmm. and wondering why they're doing it in the first place. Well, at least today's going to be sunny in LA, <laughs> so there's some good news. Uh, all right, Matthew Hussey. So the new book, Love Life, we talked about that, but we specifically stumbled onto a conversation about you because Tanya was doing a trending report about Lily Allen Googling how long she should wait before sleeping with a new partner. And we start talking about that's probably a common Google search. And what did Google say? Do you remember what Google said, Tanya? Yeah, Google said it was five dates. It was different in like the UK and America, but it was five to seven dates in that range. I love that so, Google had an answer for it. Yes. I didn't realize uh, Google was going to be so specific. <laughs> so we did think that maybe you've explored this topic before. Now, my view is how do you have one rule, one number for everybody. It's circumstantial to, Sisney and I actually feel the yeah. same. It's circumstantial, and frankly, if it's a Friday, it's different than a Tuesday, mm-hmm. right? It's a, I mean, it's a feeling honest. that you have with that person. Right, but what would you say if we asked? Well, here's the problem. The truth is that it's a feeling you have is a really dangerous logic because your feelings are not necessarily valid. <laughs> I know we're here all the time. It's so sweet like, of the you. Feelings, the feelings are <laughs> the feelings I can't are valid, wait to tell you. The truth is, how you feel about someone is not necessarily a measure of their character. It's a measure of the impact they've had on you. And someone can have a massive impact and have really poor character. And you only find that out after you actually get to know them better. So the, I think it's a, there is no rule for this. But it has to be a personal decision where we say, What is it I'm actually looking for? Am I being intentional about wanting a relationship? And if I am being intentional about wanting a relationship, and especially if I know myself and I know that if I sleep with someone and they never call me again, it's really going to hurt me, then I need to be very intentional about when I do this with a person. In, In other words, if your intention is to have a relationship, then you have to sometimes park your feelings and be like, does this get me closer to that thing? And is this someone who's in the same place as me? And what I always say to people is no judgment. Whenever you want to sleep with someone, there's no judgment at all. Like sleep, as long as you're safe, sleep with someone whenever you want, but ask yourself what's working for you and what isn't. If you wake up the next morning filled with anxiety, after doing it and you're like, why did I do that? Last night, it felt like a good idea. This morning, I'm just thinking, I wish I hadn't. Then you have to listen to that in yourself and say, there's something about this behavior that's not working for me. Forget whether it's working for other people. It's not working for me. And then say, well, what would make me feel better? Well, maybe what would make me feel better is being a bit more intentional about the conversations I have with someone before I sleep with them. So maybe after a few dates, if I'm starting to to want to, and especially if they're trying, I say to them, hey, listen, I, this would clearly be very fun between us. I have no doubt about that, given how fun and sexy our dates have been so far. But I also don't want to do this if 
we're not in the same space and you're not open to anything more because I know I'm being intentional about who I give this energy to in my life right now. And when you say that, you're actually having the conversation most people are too afraid to have because they're afraid to push someone away. They're afraid to scare someone away. Mm -hmm. But we have to actually start realizing your standards don't push someone away. Your standards are actually the best magnet you have for the right kind of person. Right. And Tanya just threw down double fingers on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know right. if you saw it, but she threw down double fingers. Standards, All right, maybe. So what we're hearing is we need to be mature. And I think that is, yeah. it's difficult sometimes, right? Because you do want to give in to emotion. You want to give in to feeling. And the brain isn't always the stronger voice. <laughs> yeah. That but you have, to, you have to have decided your path ahead of time. It's like no. if you're a person who knows you want a family, and you're dating someone who's 15 years younger than you, who has no, they don't have their sights set on that for another 10 years. Well, why date that person? The only reason you date that person is if you weren't being clear and honest with yourself about the path that you're on. And a lot of people aren't. A lot of, we, you know, we're all wondering how to have a hard conversation with another person. But the hardest conversations are the ones we have to have with ourselves, where we say, what is it I really want in life? If I, let's say, if I really want a family and I only have a certain number of years bio, biologically to make that happen, why would I give my time to someone who's in a completely different headspace and doesn't want this? That's, uh, that's not ruthless. That's honest. It's being honest with yourself mm -hmm. about what's actually important to you. It's such a great, it really is. Like I'm sucked in and drawn in. I forget that I'm on our show. <laughs> yeah, 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 show. yeah. Uh, Matthew, uh, I just need to, we have to run, but I need to know, please tell me you don't practice all of this perfectly that you preach. It would make me feel a little bit better that you can't, you don't get it all right. right do you, you make mistakes. The right? funny thing is I literally, the first, the introduction of this book starts with me saying confession time for most of my life, I have been a terrible person to date. So <laughs> okay. no, Ryan, I'm, I'm happy. I well and truly take myself off of any kind of pedestal in this book. Makes me uh, a little <laughs> happier. So it's sunny today and he's not perfect. All right. It's going to be an okay yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, a continued success, bro. Good to have you on. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, we love Thanks. you. And for anyone who wants to grab a copy, lovelifebook.com is the link. Got it. Thanks, pal. Thanks. See you, Matthew Hussey. Bye. Bye, guys.